Hey there everyone, welcome to another lovely edition of Tuesday Trends, the show where I, on a weekly basis now, take a look at uh, popular YouTube trending videos throughout the week and decipher what makes them popular or just pick them apart, criticize, and comment on their videos as well. And you know, it's very strange because out of, I've done a few of these videos already, and out of the multitude of videos, I had every ample of opportunity to bring this segment back, especially during the Jake Paul era. You guys don't know who he is? Well, I'll explain to you who he is in a little bit. But first, I want to highlight a few notable nominations that were trending on YouTube throughout the week. The first one being Taylor Swift's new music video, Look What You Made Me Do. And to be honest with you, the music video is about as I can't really show any clips or anything like that due to copyright reasons, but from what I can tell, this movie, this video is about as, music video is about as bipolar as it comes, and it show, clearly shows through showing off all of her different costumes and alter egos that she played in various music videos in the past, and a few new ones looking like an undead corpse and a few other things. Then we got another popular video from Dude Perfect where they use trick shots airplane trick shots to do a lot of weird and crazy stuff and I have to admit it was actually a pretty fun looking video where they had to take a bunch of these styrofoam uh, put it together yourself airplanes where you chuck it and they did a lot of crazy stunts and I highly recommend checking it out if you get the chance. It's played over some you know mainstream uh, montage, generic montage music and everything else and at the end of the video they put out a charitable donation for Hurricane Katrina and uh, which is really nice for especially for major youtubers to you know give shout outs to charitable you know charitable organizations that are helping out Texas in their time of crisis after the horrible week that they've went through with Hurricane Harvey. And speaking of charitable organizations, you love them, you may love them, you may hate them. I'm in the middle, to be honest with you, but Keemstar, of all people, also was on the YouTube trending page. And this was mostly the video of him supporting Team Rubicon. Team Rubicon is, of course, a, a charitable organization that also helps victims of tragedies from the hurricanes. And they were, apparently he was promoting the, the heck out of this throughout the week. And uh, it seems like they reeled in a whole lot of money just to support it, and I figured the YouTube trending tabs must have uh, picked this up and decided to post it on here to add a few more thousand dollars to the charitable pool, which is really nice. Really nice of him to do that. And then we got ourselves the good old boys of Rhett and Link's Good Mythical Boarding with not one, not two, but three YouTube trending tabs throughout the week. And I have to say, three videos uh, back to back on a three day basis. That's quite the effort. And I have to s think that YouTube may have promoted these guys as their major YouTubers of the week uh, in some way because how often do you get three back to ba three days back to back videos that are on the YouTube trending page? It's, it's ridiculous. But I'm not, I have nothing against Good Mythical Morning or Red Link. I think they're just good old boys from North Carolina or South Carolina, I forget what they are. But I would have to say that they're like the um, the YouTube equivalent of a morning talk show. Now to get in the thick of things, we got ourselves two videos to uh, point out, and uh, one in particular that I kind of that I found quite charming, which was two links two links near Kojado, Maine, and apparently these are some a pair of very rare lynx cats who just decided to uh, meet each other on the side of the road. Or in the middle of the road. Charming enough, and I really can't say much for the comment section itself. That last mirar freaking kills me. Discussing the Game of Thrones finale, I bet. I love all the comments from the media companies. Hey, do you mind if we use your video for free so we can make money from it? Yeah, I have to agree with that last comment because there's always been a, a, tr a lot of you may not notice this, but a lot of no-name YouTubers who make a popular video and it's on the YouTube, YouTube trending tabs within the first couple of days, they usually try to get bought out in the first week or so by Juken Media or some other internet production companies just to make a pretty much a quick cash buck off the views while you get pretty much fraction to none other than a small amount of recognition for a day or two. And finally, to, for our final video of the day, we got ourselves Jake Paul. I had, an, like I said before the pre earlier, I had an ample of opportunities to bring this se video segment series back during the Jake Paul run. And for those of you who don't know who Jake Paul is, Jake Paul is an up-and-coming YouTuber who pretty much went from when the Vine website pretty much went out 
uh, they moved on over to YouTube for all the ad revenue because they're young, pretty, f young, pretty looking f boys who uh, a lot of the tweens, kids, and uh, teens usually tend to cling on to, and because of that, the recognition and their so-called clean cut mentality pretty much made them uh, huge megastars and earning them millions of subscribers in a short amount of time, in a few, in a few months. In Jake Paul's case, I think he hit about 10 million subscribers in, in less than six months or five months, I'm not quite sure, but it's like a, it was setting a whole, like a new record or something like that. But in this one, he's been having a multitude of problems in LA, mostly doing a lot of crazy shenanigans. I don't, I don't want to go too much into detail, but you guys can look that up yourselves. To the point where, apparently now the city of LA has pretty much restricted him from vlogging either in his house or anywhere within the LA area. So he decides to take this opportunity uh, to vlog in Texas after the events of Hurricane Harvey took its toll on the entire Austin area. And uh, mostly it's not, it's mostly him vlogging and also saving people and just doing a variety of things, uh, doing what he can along the way. Guys, emergency situations and times like these you gotta stay strong. Strong and pretty as well. Uh, oh yeah, I also love the title of this right here, when it says, Saving Animals Caught in the Hurricane, parentheses, emotional. <laughs> like, that had to be really important to add that little uh, parentheses part right there. Let me explain the situation and why it's such a problem to be saving all of these people and why there's still so many people to be saved. Imagine like a bunch of different ponds separated from each other and homes in the middle of the ponds. If you take a boat into one of the ponds to get to the other pond, it doesn't work because in the middle, it's not flooded. Say what? I, I understand what he's trying to say when it comes to some people's homes getting flooded and everything else, but this is really a stupid analogy the way he's putting it. So after five minutes of pandering or so, Jake Paul goes around to saving people's pets and handing them off to their pet owners or rescue workers, which is uh, quite nice because, you know, animals are usually the most uh, desperate of victims when it comes to natural disasters. So, you know, good on him for that. He also goes on to pander a little bit more, but mostly that pretty much what a majority of his vlogs are anyways, until he comes across some more people, help transporting him onto this jet ski from point A to point B, like this one woman right here in a parking garage, and also transporting the elderly, you know, out of their homes to a safe, dry area, which is quite nice, I would have to admit. However, I feel like he's playing this up a little too much, making him feel like the good guy and everything else after all the horrible stuff he's already done in L.A. and to a lot of people. But at the same time, it's always good to have people come together, no matter how much of a piece of garbage you are. If you still have a somewhat of a heart inside of you, it's always good. And the rest of the video goes off pretty much pandering, and him flying off in a helicopter, just pretty much taking a lot of scenic views, I guess you would say, of the flooded Austin area. And wow, that is a lot. And that's pretty much the whole point of his video. Sells merchandise and all, buy his merchandise and everything else. Ho <laughs> ho You know, gotta make those monies, gotta make those money somehow. I have to say that, you know, Jake Paul still has a lot of growing up to do when it comes right down to it, but it's just nice to see that Finally, he's coming out of his uh, shell, he's getting a little bit of moral ground when it comes to helping others in their desperate time of need. And also when it comes to popular videos like that, there's also going to be a lot of people commenting, you know, people in the comments also talking trash on Jake Paul's heroic work. This made me believe in Jake Paul again. Made me believe he's still a douche. Love the merch advertisement at the end. I can't believe he has the audacity to put an ad for his merchandise at the end of the video. Three mid-roll ads to be precise, and the merchandise to go with it. I bet if you take this camera away, he won't help at all. Possibly, but maybe there's also a small chance of him maybe actually helping. Why do you have to take the time to vlog when you need to help more? Like I said before, you... You. And then we're gonna wrap things up with this final comment here from Ice JJ Fish. Don't let this distract you from the fact that I have been saving my farts in a jar the entire summer, and I, 
and I plan on releasing it the first day of school. So I guess we're going to wrap this up this week. Uh, I guess the moral of the story is that whenever there's a tragedy nearby or somewhere in the U.S., a major YouTuber like Jake Paul or someone else will take the opportunity to vlog as much as they can and in order to get the sweet revenue and views out of it, just so everyone else can watch it. And I also want to let everyone know that um, I don't really have any charitable organizations to uh, th throw out there to support Hurricane Harvey, but if you guys do, do know some legitimate uh, char charitable organizations, feel free to donate to them. I know the Red Cross is also is a pretty good, legitimate organization, and you can check out their website. I'll just leave a little spot right here of some kind so you can donate if you guys feel the need to donate and help out the, the state of Texas if you want. And uh, with that said, um, I'm gonna say, uh, I guess we're gonna conclude this. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's uh, Tuesday Trends. And with that said, I'll see you all next time with a dab.